AITA, for refusing to sign the paper so my wife can stay in the country? My wife and I have been married since almost three years. Two years and nine months, to be exact. The marriage didn't work out. I mentioned countless times the many things that didn't work between us, which were usually met with a complete lack of communication and just a mere, I don't care, or it's annoying slash bothersome, slash why do I have to put an effort? So eventually, I just hard cut it one day and told her I want a divorce and that I'm going to live separately from her from now on. Has been so since. Now the thing is, she's a foreigner, I'm a native, and the law states that she could have gotten her own permit to stay if our marriage had lasted three years. But it was only two years and nine months. And yes, even though we are not divorced, the actual time we lived together counts. The fact we live separately now means we were in a marital relationship for two years and nine months. This time is what counts. I got this confirmed by several lawyers. So she can't apply for her own permit, but still needs to apply for one as my wife. She needs a signature from me for that. This signature implies that I still love her and we're living together and we're not living separately and we're not thinking about divorce. This is obviously not true. I asked lawyers again about this and got the confirmation that if I signed this, I might incriminate myself for giving herself the leeway to garner a permit under false pretenses. Long story short, she can't get a permit. Now her lawyer and she herself accuse me of being heartless and that I just want her out of the country and hate her and just want to ruin her. Which is not true. I couldn't care less if she stayed, I just don't want to incriminate myself. Her lawyer and her suggest I just sign it because I could just pretend that we've made up or something and then she'd get her permit. She took a really long time to finally apply for a permit though, so if I did that the time where I can finally divorce her would move back by 14 months. I agree that this law is stupid, where it basically states if you and your spouse aren't getting along and you haven't been here three years yet, you have to leave the country. I mean, yeah, it sucks, but I don't think I should have to lie about such things and take the blame for it. I've been assured by lawyers that anything else would incriminate myself, and I have valid reasons for wanting to divorce that woman. She doesn't agree with the divorce, which causes it to only be possible after three years. It's been 14 months now, as I said, so I'd have to just wait 22 more months. Signing her thing would set it back to 36 months again, and I don't want that, as, as I said, I have valid reasons for wanting to divorce, and I don't think I should take the blame for doing what lawyers tell me is the only legal thing to do.